Circuit.com and the director of the Portland Comedy Film Festival. We have an event coming up. Our summer 2022 event is on Sunday the 18th, uh, September the 18th, at the Clinton Street Theater. Uh, we're excited to screen again, and we have all flavors of comedy from animated to romantic to dark comedy to horror comedy, and we have also these crazy little micro films, um, and we are going to talk about one of those films with directors Michelle Lippman and Stephen George. How's it going? It's going great. Good. Well, congrats. Your film's going to be screening, um, nominated for Best Comedy Microfilm, screening on Sunday. It's kind of a crazy little fun short, and uh, you got to have a certain sense of humor to love this one, <laughs> but uh, congrats. Congrats on your selection and nomination. Yeah, thank, thank you. you so much. We're so excited to have it be selected. So yeah, thank yeah, you. Thanks for having us on this interview. All right. Well, you're very welcome. So which one of you is going to give me the synopsis of this film so that people know what to expect in Portland? I will. And just to not give too much away, um, you know, we think of it as a cautionary tale to not mess with Mother Nature. <laughs> Basically, you know, it takes place on a lake. <laughs> Don't want to give too much away. But yeah. All right. All right. I, I like it. I, I'm not sure what the shape of this lake is, but... <laughs> you know, trying to trying to figure it out from your title here. So um, let's talk about this. Why why did you decide to do this particular story? We can start with you, Michelle. Why why this? Um, we're we're both fans of kind of like darker comedy, but you know, write what you know. We were kind of inspired by this. Um, a day we were out on a lake, had a couple of drinks you know, surrounded by mother nature, animals, all of its glory, and, you know, ran into a scenario that kind of what ended up being the inspiration to this. Not a all true right. at the end <laughs> of what happens, but uh, yeah, kind of leading up to it. You know, there are lots of actual eagles flying around and other wildlife that we were like, interesting. I wonder if something bad could happen here. So <laughs> notice right, we're not to give it away because it's about three minutes. So. <laughs> Inspired by a true story, we can leave it there. That's fine. Um, what what did you learn from this production? I mean, you know, you're out on a boat. I don't know how big your crew was, but but talk to me. What did you learn on this? I mean, the, this was the crew. It was literally, um, you know, during lockdown, like height of COVID. Um, we were really wanting to make some other short or some kind of comedic thing, and we were like, well, you know, what's the safest way? And like, well, if we do it ourselves, we can really, you know, cut down. And so we basically were coming up with the idea and then we're like, why don't we just do it like as run and gun as we can and see what happens. And then it just kind of, it, it worked out. So if anything, it kind of taught us that we can do more with just the two of us, you know, if need be, and uh, it can, it can work out. So, yeah. Yeah. It also kind of taught us lesson in uncontrollable elements. One thing as we were shooting this, um, of course, every moment that we turned the camera on, there was a boat that was driving by with the loudest country music, possible <laughs> blasting um so really that was one of the major things that we had to work around while filming this um that was unexpected but can look back now and laugh at it <laughs> well i'm glad that you decided to come out of covid with um something funny i mean considering yeah. you know where we all were in, in our mental state really the whole planet where our mental state was at that time um so you know just in general is, is comedy like your thing? Uh, you can start with this one, Stephen. Comedy, your thing? You consider yourself pretty diverse filmmakers. You make a lot of genres, or is it focused on making the laughs? Yeah, I would say comedy is definitely our focus. Like we've each, you know, worked on our own things that dip into other genres, like drama or whatever. But I'd say both of us, you know, definitely comedy is like the main thing that we like to make. It seems like our most natural thing. We both, uh, we both do improv. Uh, we both made bunch of stuff like other shorts and films throughout our careers and life and uh, i would say the majority of it is is comedy and, you know that's the thing that we you know just like the most and seems to come to the, the comedic stories come to us most naturally i would say so so yeah i would say that's probably our our forte yeah all right and what about you michelle you're you're uh pretty focused on comedy too do you guys yes you... i like to call myself a clown woman uh <laughs> But because, yeah, yes, I think I lean a little bit more into the comedy realm, um, whether anybody else thinks we're funny or not is a different story. But we find ourselves to be hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, Steve mentioned, you know, we um, have dipped our toe into the improv world, 
written other um, short comedic things. Um, we both kind of for our day jobs work as writer and editor and so have, you know, dealt in the comedy uh, world there as well. So, and really just are, to your point, I think during COVID when everything was so scary and even though it's so going on, but everything was so scary and intense, it really was just like, you need to laugh. Like we need something that's going to make us laugh and hopefully make other people laugh as well. Well, speaking of that, what, what do you have planned for the future? What's what's going on? What are your next projects? Uh, we have a few scripts that we're kind of trying to finish. And, you know, they're mostly the things that are closest to finish, I would say, are similarly short, you know, maybe up to like 10 minutes, but still pretty short form type of thing. We have some that are very short, more kind of web videos, and then some that are more, you know, short film, more narrative in that way. And so just kind of that stuff, essentially more stuff kind of like Dick Lake, but, uh, you know different stories, less, uh, I don't want to give anything away, but yeah, it's kind of the same kind of vein as the, of this stuff. Yes, this one probably doesn't have a sequel, but you know, along <laughs> the same comedy line. All right. I, I don't even want to guess at the title of a sequel. This is, this is a <laughs> title in itself. I Dick River. You know, I'm going to do with a, a valley or a mountain or a forest <laughs> or something. But uh, all right, well, this has been fun. Is there anything else you guys want to touch on before we get out of here? Uh, I think we, we really just want to thank, you know, the judges that are the judge of the Portland Film Festival that are going to judge it on Sunday. We want to thank we have a good group of friends that are coming out that live in Portland to go check it out. So we're really, really thanks to them for coming to check it out. And then thanks for everyone else going to check it out. And thanks to you for having us. Yes, and, uh, thank you. You know, we're just glad that these kind of festivals exist because like we were saying, comedy is kind of our main deal. So it's it's very cool that there's comedy film specific festivals. And I mean, that's like exactly where we'd want to put our any of the stuff we make. So I guess just thanks to all those people and uh, enjoy the film. Appreciate it. And, you know, one of the reasons why we made this is, you know, we have the Oregon Short Film Festival that has all genres in it. It's a little bit more serious, a lot more drama and production value. And, you know, everyone's got these super powerful acting performances. The Portland Comedy Film Festival couldn't be more opposite. Our only criteria is like, can you hear every word and does it make you laugh like hell? That's pretty much all we do. Um, and so we, you get a variation of stuff that's shot really, really well, like it's Game of Thrones and then some things that are, you know, someone's funny song on a phone or something. And, um, <laughs> you know, whatever, whatever. It's just all about the laughs, back to back to back laughs. So I hope your friends have a good time. Hope we see you at a future event. I know you're in Austin Comedy Film Festival as well, which is our partner event. We're streaming there right now. That'll be a big one. A lot of people there. Um, so... We appreciate you attending. I appreciate you, you know, letting us screen your work. It's real funny stuff. You make us look good. And, and just want to thank you both. Well, thank, thank you so you. much. Yeah, this, this means a lot to us. So yeah. thank you. Awesome. Have a good one.